Hello guys, good morning. Welcome back to Good Travel Tips. In this video, I would like to share you few common issues that can be seen in most of the Xiaomi devices when it comes to Bluetooth as well as to the Wi-Fi. So the connectivity of the phone defines how well it can communicate or exchange data with other device or within a network. As this is really important, the smartphone should be totally free from all the glitches related to the same. And here is what you can do to avoid these problems in no time. So let's check out. So first step, make sure the Bluetooth is actually turned on in your both the devices. To do that, scroll down your notification bar, then move to the Bluetooth and now turn it on. That's it. So make sure the Bluetooth is actually visible all the time. So, you know, most of the guys, you know, they used to tape on the Bluetooth, but it's not get disabled. So they complain about the Bluetooth issues. So in order to make it more clarified, I would like to share with you with another mobile phone like this. So what we have to do is just scroll down from the notification bar and now go for the Bluetooth. And as you can see here, you just have to enable this one. And here you can see there is a discoverable option. If you didn't tap on this discoverable option, this is not going to come over here. Like I will do it once again. So as you can see, you will not be able to see here as there is no kind of shown what of the one place. So always make sure that you are taping on the discoverable. Now once after taping on the discoverable, the one place is enabled over here. So always make sure the discoverable is enabled when it comes to some devices. And also make sure some in the most of the cases, people always used to do like this. They just go to notification bar and place over here to just enable it. So always tap it on, then take this one and make it enabled to get the disabled options all verified. So in most of the cases, we used to share the file with our friends and we in a hurry but we used to complain that it's not getting proper. So the real fact is always make sure when you're sending the files to your respective person, make sure the file is going to support in the opposite party's devices. So if it's not going to support, it will be showing it's not going to work. So we just, just complain on the Bluetooth. So always make sure the file you're transferring is going to get accepted by the opposite party's device. Now let's talk about the fourth one. So in most of the cases, some people used to complain the files is taking so much time to get transferred or it's not working. So the real behind this one is, while we keep on connecting to the Bluetooth to the opposite person, what happens is there will be tons of pay devices list. So always make sure if it is going to happen, now tape on over here and make sure you're not forgetting to unpair it. So just tape over here and make sure it's get unpaired. So then try it once again. Most of the cases, it's going to happen. In some cases what happens even everything is fine but still you are not able to send the file so this might be because that there are something against the issues and violations of bluetooth so make sure the respective file is agreeing all the violations or it's not against the violation of bluetooth so you have just have to try it once again or if it's not working you just have to make sure just change the file and send it once again so it's going to maybe it's going to work and always make sure there is no virus in your devices. If there is virus in your devices, then it's going to get a little bit laggy when you're going to send the files to the respective devices. Also make sure the file you are sending is not having any kind of virus content. So if so, it's, there's going to get some issues with while sending the file. So now it's time to get to connect each other to the devices. So in some cases, there won't be an option. So you just have to tape on the paired new devices. So I'll do here over here new devices so once after that the devices are available just tape on Poco F1 so wait for a few seconds until it gets pairing so it's going to take a few seconds now to both get fed now I have to tape on the pair button to get it now my devices got rebooted so once after this also even if after sometimes it won't work fine so I better suggest to meet an expert and ask the guidance from him why it's happening all the time for the Wi-Fi connectivity issues, now directly go for the Wi-Fi, just tape on over here and tape on the Wi-Fi to get connected. So before getting started complaining on the Wi-Fi issues, make sure the Wi-Fi is provided by the respective cable operators in your nearby region. Just like which already mentioned in when it comes to the Bluetooth issues, make sure the Wi-Fi is enabled, but always make sure the power saving mode is not enabled. If the power saving mode is enabled and you're just enabling the Wi-Fi, then there is going to be a little bit of problem. So always make sure the power saving mode is disabled, then you go for enabling the Wi-Fi to get proper connection. Make sure all the time the Wi-Fi is not get being used by any other kind of app in your devices or else it get connected to another system. If so, there will be a reduction in the speed which causes Wi-Fi issues. The very crucial reason why it always ended up in Wi-Fi issues is make sure the devices is not connected to more than 10 devices. If so, there will be a reduction in the speed and causing you guys to not getting the access to the Wi-Fi. Most of us, we used to connect our Wi-Fi in the public transportations or even in some public areas like schools, railway stations or in some other scenarios. 
So what happens and in these cases, you always have to sign in in order to get the Wi-Fi access. If you're not signing in, you're not going to do Wi-Fi. So make sure there are some kind of restrictions which you break and you sign in and you get the Wi-Fi. So sometimes while using the Wi-Fi, you know, in most of the cases, it won't work fine. So we just ended up in thinking about the reason. So I would just suggest, just tape it over here and go scroll down a little bit. And yes, at the end of you can see, forget network, just tape over here. Now click on OK. And now what you have to do is connect it once again. So it's going to ask the password. Just type the password as what it's just asked. And now I'd suggest the Wi-Fi connection will be fine. So in some cases, make sure the configuration of the modem or the router you are using is all fine. So if there is an issue with the configuration of the modem or router, then you are not going to get the Wi-Fi. So if you are still having the trouble with the modem or some kind of these things, I better suggest you should call the respective cable operators in India Reality and, get, and seek the help from him. So in very most of the cases, we were in a hurry to get downloaded. So what we just do is, when it comes to the Wi-Fi, in order to get connected to the respective person, we always ended up in typing some kind of wrong passwords. So for example, I just want to connect in the get your tips. So I'm just typing over here, and it's going to ask me the password. So while we're typing the password, always make sure you just type the proper password, or else the Wi-Fi won't get connected. So I'll show you over here. If I'm simply randomly typing any kind of passwords, it will be definitely show that it's not going to connect because there is an error in the password. So just wait for a few seconds and it shows there is an error in the password. So in order to get the access, make sure you're just typing the proper password so that it will get connected. Like this. Now it's get connected. So because I just type the proper password. So always make sure the passwords are very important. So just type them proper and do it once again. Last but the least, always make sure the Wi-Fi is proper, not only due to your devices, but it's also some kind, some issues can be happened due to some issues with the modems or the router. So just make sure the LAN is fine, which means the local area network in the modem or the router is fine. And make sure the connections are fine in the respective modems or the router. Make sure the internet connection is there. And apart from in all these things, make sure there are some kind, sometimes, you know, due to some wires or some kind of issues, there won't be any kind of some issues. So just make sure it is fine. Make sure the cables are fine, which is getting connected to the modem or the router. So if there is an error with or if there is an issue with the cables, then you won't get the Wi-Fi. And the last one, even if you're trying all these things, if you're still finding an issue, I better suggest just check if there is an issue with the Wi-Fi, like with, by connecting with any other devices, not with your devices, just borrow any other device from your friends and just check whether it's going to work. So if it's still not, not going to work, I better suggest you should consult an expert. So that's it, that's all about Wi-Fi issues and Bluetooth when it comes to the Xiaomi devices. So these are all from my experience. So if you kind, if you feel like asking any kind of questions, do ask in the comment session. So I'll try my best to get back to you in the comment session. Apart from this, I would also like to remind you guys to tape on the bell icon and to subscribe our channel. So this is Shahin signing off from Get Tips. Peace out.